Welcome to this video on the construction of a lathe machine. In this video, we will try to understand how the important parts are assembled together in a lathe machine. So to start with, the entire lathe machine stands on a base or you can call it uh, the legs of the machine. This part of the machine supports the entire weight, uh, entire weight of the lathe machine. So uh, it has to be very rigid and uh, it must absorb shocks generated during machining. Uh, so it is made up of cast iron because uh, it has been seen that cast iron can absorb tremendous amount of vibrations without getting uh, distorted. Now just above the bed lies the chip collecting tray where uh, the chips are collected after they come out of workpiece during machining. Just uh, above this uh, tray lies our bed. Now there is a very important component called the carriage. What is the function of the carriage? It supports uh, the tool and uh, other important parts of the lathe which we are going to see in a short while. Okay, so now we have this uh, feed box which is connected to a feed rod. So what is the function of this uh, feed rod and feed box? Uh, the feed box actually powers the feed rod to rotate. And since the rod, uh, this feed rod is engaged to the carriage, what it does is that it allows uh, the, the carriage to slide over it. Um, something like this the carriage will slide now what actually is happening here is that the rotational motion of the um, feed rod gets converted to to and fro motion in the carriage okay so now there is another uh, threaded rod called uh, called the lead screw which helps in uh, thread cutting operation now there is a lever in the carriage which you can see here uh, this is used to uh, engage the carriage to the feed rod or the lead screw to perform automatic transmission of the carriage over the rods. However, um, sometimes we may not need this automatic transmission and we may uh, want to control the carriage manually. So we can do this with the help of this wheel. When we turn this uh, wheel, rotate this wheel clockwise or anti-clockwise, so it will um, help the carriage to slide over the, um, uh, over the feed rod. Now on the left hand side of the machine we have a very important component which is called as the headstock. What is the function of this headstock? This headstock houses uh, various uh, gears and pulleys for the power transmission. Now in this headstock we have a component called chuck which is, held, uh, which is used to hold the workpiece. The front view, if we, if we see the front view of the chuck it looks some, uh, somewhat like this. We can see there are uh, three jaws here. These jaws can uh, be tightened or loosened to fix or remove the workpiece according to our need. Now the chucks uh, can either be three jaw chuck or a four jaw chuck, four jaw independent chuck. There is a uh, this is a three jaw chuck uh, where all the jaws mo move simultaneously. However, in a four jaw chuck, the jaws can be opened or closed independently. The four jaw chucks are uh, mostly used um, or mostly suitable for irregularly shaped objects. Those objects which are not uh, not properly cylindrical. Okay, so and the workpiece can be clamped like this. The bl blue color thing that you are seeing here, this is the workpiece. This is the workpiece. Okay, so now uh, on the extreme right hand side of the machine, we have a, um, another important part which is called as the tailstock. The tailstock ha uh, has two functions. Um, uh, first, I suppose um, your workpiece is very long. The workpiece that you are using it is very long. Then uh, the tailstock uh, um, will support the free end of the workpiece so that it does not vibrate during machining. Secondly, uh, while doing um, uh, boring, uh, suppose you want to do um, a, a drilling or a boring operation in the workpiece uh, in a lathe machine, you can do this with the help of a tailstock by by fitting drill bits or uh, boring tools in the tailstock. Um, similar um, operations can be done. Now, the tailstock cone-shaped center, also known as the dead center, can be moved um, by rotating this wheel. Now we can uh, now we have seen that uh, the workpiece is mounted in the headstock. So the question uh, arises: Where should we fix the tool? The workpiece can be fixed in the um, headstock; it is clear. But 
where should we fix the tool okay so let us concentrate on the carriage now just above the carriage lies a part called the cross slide the cross slide can have crosswise motion along the saddle when we rotate this wheel this is the top view of the lathe i have shown here only the headstock and the cross slide for simplicity now this h uh, shaped structure it is called the saddle now we when we rotate the wheel of the cross slide the cross slide will move in the crosswise direction exactly like this it can be moved and fixed you can fix it anywhere <coughs> in the saddle okay so just above this uh, cross slide lies another important part called the compound rest the compound rest can be swiveled at uh, very different angles by using this handle and finally above the compound rest lies our tool post where we will mount our tool so what uh, by using the compound slide we can what basically we can do is we can turn the uh, tool post to uh, different angles uh, if we need some form of angular cutting we can do this okay so this was all about uh, the different parts of the lathe machine now uh, let us see quickly the function of the tailstock as i as i was um, explaining earlier the tailstock is a very uh, important part and it is primarily used for supporting the free end of the long work pieces so that the work piece do not vibrate so when um, the work piece is rotated in, in the headstock uh, if the work piece is very long it will have a tendency to vibrate so, uh, but we don't want this vibration so we will support the free end of the work piece uh, with the help of the tailstock one more important function is that uh, it will allow um, drilling boring tapping and similar operations in the uh, in the lathe so th this was all about the description of lathe machine thanks for watching and for more uh, such high quality videos please subscribe magvidya